delighted to welcome back on the show. And it is, I believe, his birthday, his 21st birthday. It is one of my favourite guests to uh, have on the show. It is Coach Mark Henry from New Jersey. Mark, first of all, my friend, happy birthday. How's all with you? How, how's the celebrations gone? Have you been up to that today? Good, my friend. Uh, my only Irish friend, man. So <laughs> awesome to talk to you again, brother. My only Irish friend. And uh, pumped. I'm going uh, down to pick up my son at Villanova. So excited. He uh, just moved in as a freshman into Villanova. Awesome. So um, we're so proud of him and excited. And already I'm, I'm making excuses to come uh, see him. So I'm using the birthday excuse <laughs> to pick up my son and go out with the family out to eat up in Pennsylvania. Brilliant stuff. Uh, I, I presume it's, uh, you're, you're not older than 40 anyway, Coach Mark. <laughs> I, I forget man it's just so many I forget <laughs> fair enough fair enough alright coach Mark there's a, there's a lot to talk about obviously the, the rumours are rife now that Conor McGregor after his winning against Nate Diaz the weekend is going to be taking on um, your uh, champion in Eddie Alvarez for that lightweight strap uh, it's, it's been mentioned first of all have you heard any, any word um, on that potential fight happening no I didn't didn't, he, didn't hear a thing uh, you know I, I no idea what they're going to do to care less, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know we'll see we'll see what happens. The guy definitely doesn't deserve to uh, you know fight for the title, but um, you know barely beat uh, Nate after getting destroyed by Nate. So I don't know how that gets you a title, but you know we'll see. He's uh, you know he's running the show. Every circ, you know the circus and the circus man, the big thing of the clowns, you know. So they save the clowns for the act. So we're waiting on the clown, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um... Eddie's mentioned after his, his fantastic win, uh, amazing performance against Rafael Dos Anjos, where he won that world title, that, you know, he'd like to have that Conor McGregor fight. Is it something in, in, in Eddie's mind that, that he'd like to do? Um, you know, you know Ed, Eddie's up for anything, man. You know, Eddie's, uh, you know, he's an amazing dude, man. And and uh, the one thing is, you know, Ed, Eddie isn't shy, man. Even, even when Eddie was fighting, uh, was getting ready to fight for the title, you know, um, he wanted to fight everybody every week. And I'd be like, relax, man, relax. You're going to get the title shot. You're going to get the title shot. And, uh, you know, he just wants to fight. And, um, you know, uh, you know, after, you know, so he, you know, he's up for anything, man. Whatever the UFC has for him, you know, he's up for, you know, um, if it's Connor, it's Connor, you know, he, he ran away from Frankie long enough. And, uh, so maybe he'll meet one of the other guys on our team, but, you know, after, Dealing with this guy with uh, with Frankie, it's not even worth, you know, yeah. uh, you know, even thinking about it because he's just a clown. We'll move back to the moment. I want to get your opinions and thoughts on Connor's performance against Nate Diaz in the second fight. Um, were you impressed by Connor's performance? What did you think of the performance uh, against Nate? Well, you know, Con- Connor's uh, power is, is very impressive. I mean, but mm-hmm. it, but the only thing I'm not impressed. I mean, he's a 55er, and as much as him and his coach want to say that Nate is 200, he's not. You could even hear, you know, I know Nate, I've trained with Nate, and Nate, you know, he's a 55-er, you know, he's yeah. uh, probably 175 for that fight. So the, the, the weight difference, you know, is probably five pounds. I mean, Connor weighed in 168, and people don't realize that you weigh in at 8 in the morning. So you haven't even eaten, you slept all night, even lost. So Connor is definitely into the 70s. Yeah. He's even said it, I believe, when he was going to fight Aldo the first time with Shell Sonnen, that he's 172. You know, if Frankie lost that weight, what he does the 45, Frankie would be a 125 er. But, um, so, you know, I'm just not so impressed because he's a 55 er, you know. I, I think his stand up is amazing, you know. Uh, some of the best stand up, you know, I've ever seen in MMA. But, um, you know, I thought, the, I think, uh, I thought he looked sloppy, you know, once it got to the second round. And, um, I think he's getting worse, in my, in my opinion, you know. He, uh, I just think each fight, he's, he looks worse to me. And um, so I think, you know, we have four guys that could easily handle this this guy, you know, as in uh, Eddie or or Frankie, who he's mm-hmm. ran away from for so long, or Edson Barboza or Marlon Marias, who probably kick his legs off. Yeah. But, um, you know, I just uh, I just didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? W- w- I just thought that uh, it looked sloppy to me. W- what areas? And he barely won. I mean, you can't get a decision that's close to... Then the decision that he got, I mean, by the skin of his teeth, he won. I mean, he's acting like, uh, you know, he won this amazing fight. But, uh, you know, I mean, this guy barely won by the skin of his teeth. Do you maybe feel as though looking on and the way 
um, you know, Nate has obviously um, promoted himself and sold himself that he's been put on the pedestal of his true abilities as a mixed martial artist. Maybe Connor should be doing, um, you know, a little bit more, maybe finishing a guy like, like Nate because of his record. Um, no, I think Connor's finished a ton of people. I just think the way that Connor's um, career has gone up, that he's been, you know, he's a semi fraud to me. You know, he just, where's the wrestlers? When has he fought a wrestler? He fought one wrestler off of five days, uh, you know, Chad Mendez, and Chad was just killing him. And um, until he gassed. Once Chad gassed, you know, he didn't hurt Chad. Chad just gassed and stopped, mm. you know. And I think if he ever fought Chad again, Chad would maul this kid. But, um, you know, who's he fought besides that, you know, that has that all-around wrestling, you know, uh, you know, style? Even look at um, Max Holloway, who's an amazing fighter. I mean, Max yeah. is about the same size as him, you know, and uh, he couldn't take Max out, you know, and Max has even gotten a lot better now. And uh, he didn't take out Max. Nate is about the same size. Can't take out Nate. So unless he's, you know, about 20, you know, this guy talks about constantly, I can't tell you how many times he must have said that, Nate is so much bigger than him. I mean, I hope he does realize that he's so much bigger than everybody at 45, but, you know, nobody ever talks about that. You know, Frankie's fought every big guy at 55 and never once has ever mentioned about size like this guy does or, or cheesecake or gymnastic rings or I didn't train against the southpaw or, you know, the, the 1,000 other excuses that, that, that he had. And he barely won this fight for the skin of his teeth. I see, on, I see on Twitter, I just saw a tweet earlier on that uh, John Cavanagh sort of had a little bit of a joy but yeah, someone tweeted John asking uh, why does Mark Henry and Eddie Alvarez have so much hatred towards Conor McGregor um, and John replied, winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. How do you react to that? I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know what he, he's not winning at 55, that's for sure, he, he got smashed at 55 and barely won by the skin of his teeth. So I don't know what this guy's winning, you know. He didn't uh, face Dos Anjos as a champion. Didn't face a guy like uh, Edson Barboza or um, Ferguson. Who? What, what do you think Ferguson would have done as soon as this guy got tired in the second and third round? Uh, or Khabib. I can't even imagine what uh, Khabib would do to this guy. So I don't know, you know, what champion this guy's talking about. Unless he cuts down 40 pounds to uh, 45 we talks about this massive power as coach, um, as coach Edmund, yeah. uh, Edmund, what's his name? Oh, my Edmund, bad. Not Edmund. Ed, Edmund but, um, you know, talks about, uh, you know, this great power he has. Of course you have great power when you cut that much. I mean, yeah. I don't even know what this coach has done, man. He, uh, he's, he's a ground guy, I think, isn't he? Yeah. I think his, uh, he, black belt, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So he should, I think he should give all the proceeds to his book over to his striking coach. So, uh, you know, maybe that's what he needs to do. <laughs> you, we mentioned uh, Khabib there, and it, it came out that obviously um, they wanted to fight, I think, on four weeks, which I thought was a crazy timeline, and, and obviously you guys turn it down because four weeks is, is absolutely ridiculous. Um, does Eddie, do you see in Eddie that he has his mind possibly on Connor? You know, the, the big money fight, because nah, we, we've nah, seen with Eddie. Uh, no, no, definitely not. We're def you know, we've been through that with Frankie, you know, yeah. with... Um, preparing for him when he said if he beat Mendez, you know, that he was going to fight Frankie. Then when he said after the Nate fight, he was going to come back down and fight. So, you know, we got ready because we believed what Connor said, which was, you know, a lie. He, in reality, he was running from Frankie, you know. And um, so we've already been through that with our camp, getting ready for this guy, you know. So mm -hmm. we're definitely not doing that again, you know. So, uh you know, just training to get better, man. And, and, and then he's such a, such a great student, man. And, um, you know, it takes the whole team, man, you know, and, and Ricardo's been doing an yeah, amazing job with them. Anderson Franca did uh, an unbelievable job with them, um, getting ready for the kicks last fight and, uh, his strength and conditioning coach in Philly and his Muay Thai coach too, while Anderson wasn't around, uh, helped them out so much. So it definitely takes a team, man. And, uh, you know, everybody loves Eddie because he's such a good guy. Yeah. So you want it so bad for him, you know? Do you think his style, and I, I think it's something we, we haven't seen Connor face, a guy with, you know, high pressure and volume like Eddie. We saw that, obviously, against Rafael Dos Anjos. Um, you know, he, he dragged Rafael into, into a slugging uh, war at the end of the fight. Uh, you know, fantastic, fantastic fight. Do you think that's a style that really gives Connor McGregor trouble? Yeah, I think so. You know, at first I thought that Connor could beat every striker until, um, you know, Nate rocked him. 
and, you know, really hurt him and rocked him in the last fight, I thought that, you know, I thought he had the best striking, but I was wrong because Nate's striking, you know, he, he hurt him. Mm. And uh, if, it, if he didn't finish him on the ground, he would have finished him standing. And Nate almost finished him again in the third. So, you know, they only give him really strikers. They don't really give him guys with an all-around game, you know. And uh, I think that's, you know, why I'm not so high on him, you know. Unless, you know, if he fought Mendez on a full camp, you know, I, yeah. I'd be down with this guy. But I just don't see it, you know. Like new guys coming up, like Cody. Um, no love Cody. Like yeah, guys like that have been you know. Yeah. For like two years I've been saying this. That kid is special. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he's showing it right now. Someone like that. Give me someone like that who, who fights everybody. You know, they throw everything at him from wrestling to kicks to striking. You know, it's, it's impressive. But. Connor from, you know, getting cyber to a title, from getting mostly strikers. You know, it's just, uh, I feel like, you know, no other no other UFC guy has had that. But it's smart, you know. Mm, the UFC mm. is doing what they're doing, and it, they've had 100% success with it. I mean, you know, Connor, for what, what I feel with him fighting, I feel like he's an amazing striker. But I also feel like he is, you know, when they say, I don't think he's definitely not the Muhammad Ali of fighting, but I think in... Um, you know, in the other ways, he is like Muhammad Ali. You know, yeah. but I'm just not. I'm just not down with the way his coach has talked about Frankie in the past, which teased me off. I'm not down with, um, you know, Connor talking about uh, Jesus. You know, I'm not down with mm. his coach talking about Muslims. I'm not down with Connor talking about, you know, people's uh, families or kids. So that's probably why I'm on the sour side. But other than that, I think um, as an entertainer, he's hilarious. As a as a fighter, he's amazing, and um, you know. But I just really haven't seen him pick a guy that would, uh, you know, and use an all around game, and that I could say that he's as good as people say he is. And if he did, I'd be the first one to say that he is. But you know, we've seen him fight Mendez, and we saw the result. We've seen him fight Nate, and we saw the result. So seeing you know a guy that has own weight and a guy that has some wrestling ability, and we saw the two outcomes. You know, if you're really a and you know, if you really are a student of MMA, I don't know how you could say this guy is as good as everybody says he is. Do you go along or with... Or has had the same challenge, challenges that everybody else has had. Do you go along with Eddie's comments, uh, Eddie made comments into MMA fighting during the week that uh, Conor McGregor can't fight for shit and he, he's maintained that he isn't up to <laughs> championship, uh, uh, championship level uh, par? Um, I don't, I, I'd agree with part of it. I think uh, Conor could definitely... You know, he could definitely fight, man. His left hand is extremely nasty. You know, slide back left hand, you know, that he does, you know, slides. And he, and he could do that slide back left hand because he has so much more height and, and range on everybody at 45. But he's not going to have that much range and height at everybody at 55 mm. that he could do that slide back left that he loves so much or throw the left hand at the end of somebody's right hand, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, that's why he's getting a lot of success because he's, you know, he's kind of bullying a smaller guy. But, you know, I think that he is he, his, he is amazing, you know, um, with his striking. But I just, like I said, I'll, I'll reiterate again, I just think that they bypass too many people with him. You know, guys like Clay, Clay Guida, guys like Bermudez, guys like Elkins, you know, guys like Mendez on a full camp, you know. Um, I think I'm missing a lot more guys. Well, fr well, well Frankie uh, guys, is it, Frankie's, Frankie's the standout Ramen. one. I think it's... Uh, Mr. Edgar, yeah. that's a lot of guys to skip over, man. That's mm. a lot of landmines to skip over. And, you know, the UFC is so hard because, you know, everybody's so great. And the UFC is so hard because you're always getting a different style. That's what makes it so hard. And, you know, he's basically gotten strikers except for Mendez. And, and we saw what Mendez was doing to him until he gassed out. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm not a... You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Listen, my son even likes Connor. You know, his bravado and, uh, you know, and the way he knocks people out. And, you know, and I can remember seeing Connor in the beginning and saying, man, this dude striking is out of control. Yeah, yeah. But as an MMA artist, you know, I'm just not fully buying into it yet, especially after last fight and the one before. I, you know, I see him getting worse, you know. I saw, you know, he, he talks about, um, oh, I was winning for the first. And this is what Eddie's talking about. You know, this is what Eddie's comments talking about. He's telling Nate, I was beating you for the first eight minutes. Well, where the heck were you in the la in the bottom half of the second round, the third round, the fourth round, and the fifth round? 
You know, you you were nowhere to be seen because you know you got smacked around. So did, did you score you the know, fight for Connor? Statements, you know. I, I scored it for I scored the win for Connor. Yeah, yeah. I thought Connor um one, two, won four. three to two, and I thought that that third round is was the third or second the the one if Nate would have started a little earlier because mm. I think what was the one Nate Nate was winning like the last minute or whatever that was it. Um, if Nate would have started a little earlier, fourth, he could have maybe took it. Yeah, yeah. And you know that's what that that fight went by. You're talking about a minute, a minute going Nate's way, and you know everybody is talking horribly about Connor right now. Mm. You know, and uh, you know and that's why I do feel bad. You know, when Connor loses, everybody smashed him. You know, and and I think Connor is amazing, but um, you know, doesn't if, if, if the guy loses, he doesn't need to be smashed on because yeah. he is an amazing fighter. But I just don't think he's what. Everybody's putting him out to be. I don't see him as a, you know, an Anderson Silver, a GSP, you know, yeah. <clears throat> you know, a Frankie, level. or um, you know, I just don't. I don't see Eddie, Eddie Alvarez who's won titles in all different, you know, um, organizations. Yeah. You know, John Jones. I mean, he's not even. I don't know how this guy gets more cred than John Jones. I mean, John Jones is amazing. I mean, John Jones has fought. Every champion, you know, or even a Chris Wyman, or you know what I'm saying. Every style, every different type of style has been thrown at John Jones, and and uh, you know, I think that you know he's the one people should be talking about instead of uh, instead of this guy. Eddie Alvarez, you know, New York's coming up. It's it's a place uh, that's that's very near your training camp. There, you're obviously in New Jersey. That has to be uh, that has to be a realistic uh, goal, an opportunity for Eddie to fight on that card. Yeah, man, we're hoping everybody, man. We're hoping, uh, <laughs> Frank. and I'm so, you know, it's a great it's a great time for me. It's the first time none of our UFC guys have fights. Even Kaylin Chukagan, we're waiting on her too. Corey, we're waiting on. Uh, Edson, Marlon, you know, is in the middle of a contract. We don't know which way it's going to go. Uh, you know, so um, it, it, uh, Rafi sure. on the towel. We're hoping they all get on this card, man. Surely, It'd be great for me. I don't have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Surely Marlon's close to that UFC contract now. It's obviously only a matter of time. I don't know, man. Um, the WSOF is definitely making a great push, and they've been so um, great to Marlin that um, you know it would take us. You know, they'd have you know you'd have to come up with something pretty good <laughs> because um, you know WSOF is showing a lot of love right now, and you know and the WSOF is always treating Marlin like you know like a, you know like a champion. So um, you know we'll we'll definitely see, but it's definitely not a hundred percent UFC. I'll tell you yeah. that. Frankie Edgar, what you He's know? Not a real to talk to other organizations right now anyway, so okay. we don't know what's up. But. Frankie, what's next for Frank? You know, is it going to go down to 135? Is, is he going to stick around at 145? What's the plan? You know, I, I think, you know, well, my plan anyway, I'd like to see him, you know, whatever to get him to a, uh, you know, to a title, you know, yeah. get him to a title, 35 or 45. You know, you don't even know. Maybe he could fight a 45 uh, and fight for a 35-pound title. You know, so... um you know, we'll see, man. Uh, uh, another I, another I thing as well, surely the, the 45 pound belt has to be um, relinquished if Connor's not going to stick around. Oh, uh, we don't. Well, it all depends, too. If Connor wins, you know, how much. If Frankie wins a couple and Connor beats Aldo. Oh, you mean relinquish? Oh, relinquish. Yeah. Well, you don't know. If Max if Max beats Aldo, which I think Max Holloway could definitely beat yeah, Aldo, maybe it would take a couple wins for Frankie since he's never fought Max Holloway before. So there's still that possibility if if um, if Connor uh, leaves 45, but I think Connor's going to definitely have to go down to 45 because I think he's going to see a 55. He just can't hang, man, yeah. and uh, he's going to have to go to the only place, you know, that he's 40 drops 35 pounds and that can beat people, you know, that he's bigger, that he's way bigger than. Well, even though it, it's funny how he cries about the same thing that um he he is you know that he does. So uh, I just think. Some, after some 55 pound fights, I just don't think this dude, this dude's gonna be knocked down to 45, you know, to being way bigger than anybody else if he wants to, you know, be a champion. Well, well, what do you anticipate as a coach? Do you anticipate this fight with with, with Eddie Alvarez happening with Conor McGregor, or do you, uh, you know, do you anticipate uh, anticipate Conor to stay around and fight fight Jose at 45 in New York, or, you know, how do you, you know, envisage this play, playing out? Uh, just being through this, Conor. You know, thing before, as him making promises and saying he was going to do, you know, so many of Connor's things that he says, you know, I don't bring in people that aren't from my 
Jim when he's done that. You know, I don't. You know, all these statements that he makes is going to fight Frankie if he beats Mendez. He's going to fight one fight and come down. Like, you know, so you just don't. Anything this guy mm. says is a lie or it's just at zero face value. You know, so why even? You know, so you know, you just don't. You know, it's not. You can't lean on this guy. He's just a. He's a. He's a wild card. You know, he's just. So you can't. We've been through it before. So we're just concentrating. On um, Eddie, comes. you know, defending the title on whoever it is and just getting bettering himself. If it's Connor, it'd be, you know, it'd be, you know, it'd be nice because we wanted Frankie to fight him. So, you mm. know, but whatever it is, you know, we'll, we'll be ready for it. And Eddie, Eddie will definitely be ready for it. But we definitely don't want to put all our eggs, you know, I'm in the basket, yeah. on, on that dude. Yeah. Well, I think it's a fight, you know, a lot of people are getting very excited about even the mention of it. I think there's been a lot of obviously things going around social media and a lot of the fans, it's, I think it's something they, they'd really like to see. So I hope it happens for one and I hope it does happen in New York because I think that's going to be an amazing event, whether or not Connor's going to be ready in time anyway because of the, I think he's a fractured leg um, is another uh, thing, but maybe December or something, I think it'd be fantastic. But listen, Mark, it's, it's always a pleasure having the show. I do appreciate uh, your time and your insight. And listen, have a great birthday and enjoy it. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my only Irish friend. You're the best, bro. <laughs> no problem, my friend. I appreciate. Where can the guys find you, by the way, Mark? As well. Um, I think it's Mark Coach underscore Mark Henry. Seven. Is it seven? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I'll tweet. But I'll also, t- too, man, put it out. We're hoping, we're hoping Wyman and and uh, all yeah. these Kalen Chukagan and Frankie and. And Eddie and, and Edson, all these guys get on that New York card match for a garden, man. Definitely. Caitlin so, Chukagan as well. What, what, what a debut that was from her. Em, em, emphatic performance on her debut. Ah, uh, yeah. It was awesome, man. Oh, excellent, excellent. Listen, Mark, have a great birthday. Don't drink too much. And uh, have, have a great one. I appreciate the time, my friend. Thanks so much, brother. Be good, man.